This video is brought to you by Alienware, featuring Intel Core i7 processors. Start gaming. Hello ladies and gents, Jack here and today I wanted to talk about a concept for a game instructor system in Battlefield 1 and perhaps something that could be potentially implemented in future Battlefield games. For regular players of BF games every new title is pretty easy to pick up and play, we've got a good grasp now on the franchise, what each class does, how to use certain gadgets, vehicles and most importantly teamwork. But for new players to the series, Battlefield really can be a very daunting experience, and that puts them off from the game completely. It's very easy for us as people who play the games every single day to forget that for a lot of people, BF1 is actually their first Battlefield game. BF1 has been a massive commercial success and has attracted a lot of newcomers. And whilst I know that, yes, it's a video game, it isn't rocket science, for a new player, there's a wealth of information to learn, and a lot of that is never really explained in the game at all. In fact, lots of the in-game mechanics in BF1 are just expected to be learnt through experience, and as such, I think the game could do a lot more for new players. And I think that can be achieved with an in-game instructor system, and I reckon there's two ways of going about this. The first way is creating it all in an AI environment, which is like a series of fake multiplayer games versus AI, where the player can learn the ins and outs of the game. Second way, and this is what this whole video is about, is a live in multiplayer player game instructor system that can be toggled on for new players to help them get up to speed with the game because I don't think the single player suffices as a good enough tutorial and at the moment BF1 has a very basic hint system in place for multiplayer that will occasionally pop up messages on the right hand side of the screen based on your actions so it is contextual. Some of the hints are useful and do explain some mechanics but they aren't that interesting, they're easy to miss and many things are never explained and no one really wants to read a paragraph of text whilst they're playing a game. So I think this system that I'm going to talk about now could be way better and I've put together some ideas and concepts that I think would help those new players. Now you're going to have to use your imagination a bit here too because I'm not very good with motion graphics but hopefully with my commentary on top and images you will get the picture that I'm trying to portray here. Let's take a look at a few examples. One of the fundamental elements of a Battlefield game is team play and playing the objective. That's one of the main things that sets it apart from other multiplayer shooters. You can't really lone wolf every match to win it. So how can new players be incentivized to learn these things and actually do them? Let's look at this clip on Argon Forest here. It's the start of the game and the player is moving towards a flag. Apart from squad orders, there's no instruction really that this is a flag that can be captured. And if you do so, then it's going to score points for your team and ultimately points for you so you can rank up. So it's at this point that the game instructor kicks in and it highlights the flag, tracking it as the player moves around it. This is an objective that can be captured. Stand near the flag to capture it. You've captured the flag. Well done. And then maybe something comes up like every flag held scores points for your team. Just a simple thing like that to start with could make a big difference. Another clip here, the player looks towards the sea flag and it's being captured by the other team. A message pops up. This objective is being captured by the enemy. Prevent them from capturing it by killing them and clearing the area. Getting a bit more advanced now, the player moves closer to the flag and actually sees some enemies. A message pops up and tracks the players. You can spot these enemies by pressing the Q button. Spotted enemies are easier for you and your team to locate. They also appear down here on the minimap. And then the player spots the enemies and ultimately kills them, doing as the game instructor has said. And this is where the incentive kicks in. If you manage to complete a game instructor message, the player could be rewarded with bonus XP or war bonds. It's like a live tutorial with rewards that educates and encourages team play. So getting even more advanced now, because I think this sort of stuff is really necessary. I've watched a lot of new Battlefield players playing BF1, whether that's on Twitch or YouTube, and I've watched them play and one of the biggest things they fail at in game is attacking tanks or destroying enemy vehicles. And these are guys or girls who play a lot of FPS games on stream, but they don't play Battlefield and they get killed again and again by vehicles, seemingly not knowing how to destroy them when they got the equipment to do so. A game instructor could fix that. Here's an example. An artillery truck is spotted nearby an assault player. A message pops up, real simple, as an assault player you can damage this vehicle. It moves on and the message tracks the vehicle. Press 4 to equip your rocket gun. Go prone to use this weapon by pressing the Z key. The player attacks the artillery truck and moves in closer. Another message, assault players carry anti-tank grenades, press 3 to equip them. 
Throw the anti-tank grenade at the artillery truck. Boom, and there you go, well done. And then the player earns some XP for completing that instructor message. And in that short space of time, instantly, that player has learned, hey, I've got these tools and I know how to use them. It was actually pretty easy, you know. Just something that simple could make a massive difference. Another example with a heavy tank. This is a heavy tank. It has a lot of armor, but you can damage it. Press 3 to equip your anti-tank grenades. Throw them at the tank. Another very simple example there, and I hope you guys are picking up roughly what I can see in my head. The same can be applied to something like K-Bullets on the Scout class. This is an enemy tank. You can damage it and prevent it repairing with K-Bullets. Press 4 to load a K-Bullet. Attack the tank. And then the player attacks the tank repeatedly. Excellent work, you are preventing that tank from repairing. And this can go with the simplest of things too. Say you're injured and happen to see a medical crate on your hood. This medical crate can heal you. Stand next to it to regain health. More team play stuff now just to make it more obvious. This player needs ammo. Run next to them and drop ammo for them by pressing 3. Congratulations, you just resupplied your teammate in need. And then you've got more meta stuff like this. Say a player comes across an elite sentry. This unit has more armor than normal soldiers. You can take the sentry down quickly with a melee attack from behind. And then you know what? The player goes in for the melee kill, they follow the message, they get that kill and they've learned, hey, next time I come across an elite, I won't just shoot at them forever and probably die and not kill them. Instead, I've learned this new thing and I'll try and flank them and go in for the one hit kill sneak attack. Mechanic learnt. Simple team play again, if you're a support player and you've got a repair wrench equipped, a damaged friendly tank rolls past, you can repair this tank. Press 3 to switch to your repair tool. Get close to the tank and repair it by holding mouse 1. You could even get really complicated and do stuff like this. Enemy players are capturing your objective. Return to the flag and defend it. This icon shows you how many teammates and enemies are on the flag. And then perhaps, you know what, this guy kills the enemies and denies them the flag cap, therefore they get more XP for a more complicated task. It's sort of like a mini side mission in the game as you're playing. Something more to do, but you're learning at the same time as well. Another slightly more complex one here, say you happen to come across an empty transport vehicle, you can use this vehicle to traverse the map. Jump on the gunner seat by walking up to it and pressing E. A teammate gets in and starts driving you around, and therefore a little mission from the game instructor pops up because you've completed this action, and it says, kill an enemy from the back of a gunner seat whilst the teammate drives you. And boom, there it is, you do it, you get your rewards. I could do this all day, example after example, and you know what, it's not crazy, complicated, intelligent stuff, it's all quite simple, but I think it's enough that it would really help to aid and educate new players. Because one of the biggest problems still for the Battlefield series is accessibility, and dumbing it down and making it more casual isn't the right answer, I think there's a lot more that could be done to educate new players instead. And I definitely think that the Frostbite engine is powerful enough to implement a system like this. And yes, there's certainly an argument for doing stuff like this, like I said at the beginning in a fake multiplayer single player level that's kind of like a tutorial that jumps from scenario to scenario. And yes, you could make stuff like that compulsory, but compulsory stuff just really isn't fun and most people skip it anyway, and I just think it would be more fun and engaging if it were in a live multiplayer game for those that wanted to turn it on and learn from it and use it. So what's the point of all of this then? Well, the more educated the player base are on average, the better the gameplay experience on average will be for everyone. How many times have you been chasing after a support player to drop ammo and they never do and you end up getting killed? Or the medic that doesn't revive or ever drop health for you? Or the assault players that just hide away from tanks and armoured vehicles hoping that they'll go away, not realising that, hey, if they tried hard enough they might even be able to solo kill a tank with AT grenades and rocket guns or just with a little teamwork from a friend, they could easily take it out instead of being dominated by it again and again. And I think a lot of new players are coming into the game and just getting dumped on because they don't really know how to play and they aren't being educated and then, you know, they just stop playing and go to other games that they find more fun. And I think that there is the key issue. There is joy in succeeding through learnt practices. Battlefield is one of those games, to be fair, where you can just mess about if you want to, blow stuff up, jump on top of horses, fly into buildings, whatever, where you get your kicks. It's not all about always tryharding and being top of the scoreboard and kills everywhere. It's a fun game that most people can enjoy if they're just messing around. But when you get into the game and learn the intricacies of it and your tactics work and the team play you use gets that clutch flag at the last second or diffuses that MCOM objective, it's an even more fulfilling experience. An educated player base makes the game more accessible and a funner overall experience for everyone, if you ask me. 
Just a thought anyway, so let me know what you think down in the comments below and also share your ideas if you've got some. Right then, on to the Alienware sponsored message. You may know that I've done a few sponsored videos with Alienware in the past, covering a variety of their products, crazy laptops, steam boxes, PCs that look like spaceships, all sorts. They've got some cool hardware for sure. And they wanted me to let you know that at the moment they're having a big sale on their website. It's a 12% off on all of their systems between the 25th and 28th of November. And if you want to check them out, you can click on the link in the description below. All of their products are heavily customizable, as you can see here, and can be built to your preferred specifications and needs. Right, guys, that's all for today, folks. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, a thumbs down, and I'll see you in the next one.